let's get into the game. Hello, hello everybody, welcome to today's stream. Today, we are on Link's Awakening once again, because you know why not? Of course we are. Um, Dylan is also here because the, the reason why we haven't been doing this as much is because we want to, you know, have Dylan here to play with us. But the problem is, is that Dylan works, and then my internet hates me, and then we cry in the corner, and that's the entire events that happen every single time why we haven't been able to do this in a while. So that's fine. It's all good. Don't worry about it. All right. What the heck? The trash people? Oh my goodness. Hello. Oh. All right. Are you ready? Ready as I'll ever be. Good, good, good. Because <laughs> it's so noisy outside today. That thing's lighting up, right? Yeah. Good, good. Good, 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 good. All right. Move my table out here so that I can eat my breakfast. Um, the, yes, I do mean breakfast. This means having mac and snacks for breakfast. I feel like that's a better breakfast than what I had. What did you have? Don't worry about it. I'm worried about it. The golden fish of golden fish. Yeah, you know, I'd lie if I said I'd never had a goldfish breakfast. I love goldfish breakfast. Goldfish breakfast is my favorite. Goldfish breakfast is the perfect breakfast for somebody who just doesn't have time. Oh, <laughs> excuse me. That one, that, one, that one snuck out. I'm sorry. No, it's fine. Yeah, no, but I, I had goldfish, but I have actual stuff that I was planning on making later. I, I was I was thinking about what I wanted and I was like I want goldfish. But also it's because that my the entire roof of my mouth got got kind of burnt last <laughs> yesterday. <laughs> you do. Yeah, my mouth is very burnt right now. I have like What did you do? So I made I made this uh, dish that I really like. And it's this, uh, it's like a spicy chicken dip. We, we do not use the recipe correctly, I will inform you. This I recipe is... Wait, hold on, are those fucking... Okay, for a second I thought those cacti were traffic lights. <laughs> what is up here? Oh, I'm it's sorry, for down. some reason I thought there were like traffic lights sticking out of the ground. Like, once you go up the screen. Yeah, I know. Those... <laughs> Look at that and tell me. Annoyance! You're getting in the way! I don't want to deal with that. You, you may have problems. I don't want to... I don't want to... Those, those aren't my problems. Me, anytime my little sibling was standing in front of the TV as a kid. This man has problems. Not my problems, but he has problems. Dude, I, I made I made one of my favorite dinners last night. It was so so fucking. Oh wait, good. let me finish my story real fast. So basically, yeah, yeah, yeah. I made this this like chicken dip, the spicy chicken dip, buffalo chicken dip. We don't use the recipe correctly. We we changed it to make it like we like it a little bit more. And I I, I was doing my lines while I was cooking. And I. got up and like I, I got out and i finished my lines and i got out my mom had taken it out and i was like i don't know how long this has been uh sitting for, sitting for. so i'm just gonna i'm just gonna munch on it it had just come out of the oven didn't it the yeah it did it did um and i go over and i munch on it because it's really good and i immediately regret my entire life decision Understandably so. Are we supposed to go into this? Probably. Oh, it's this boss again. As long as we're not on top of it when it pops out, we should be fine. Yep. Don't, uh, don't stand, don't stand in the middle. Yeah. Anyways, so I, 
I, I pop some in my mouth and uh, yeah, it is, it is molten. It is, I just dropped a couple hundred degrees uh, sauce in my mouth. You have literally dropped hot chicken lava into your mouth. Yeah, it was hot chicken lava. Consume the hot chicken lava. It was really good. I did it again and again, and I was like, yep, my mouth is gonna be burnt tomorrow. I'm like, I'm gonna burn my mouth. You I didn't turned... stop? No. It was good. Wait! What? It tasted what? good! It tasted like pain, Lace! It tasted really good. It was painy! Hey, I made oh, a choice. God. My mouth is already burnt. Alright, my mouth is already Wait. burnt. I was already doomed. I made a choice. You know what? I I can't really deride you because I do I used to do the same thing. Uh, there was this pizza joint. Uh, over by where I used to live when I was living with my parents uh, that I would walk to, right? I would sit there, I'd eat some of the pizza and bring it home. Uh, whenever they brought the pizza out, it was burning hot and I never fucking waited. I'd just burn the roof of my mouth with every fucking bite. Crunch. Delicious, delicious pizza. Yeah, I miss that pizza place. Hoot. And get yeah, no. Yeah. Whoop, the shape of the key sh uh, whoop, whoop, the shape of the key it shows A fish swing up a cascade of Water go now to the mountain Waterfall I leap from the Top and you'll reach their goal whoop, 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 whoop. I'm sorry, where are we going? The waterfall whoop, whoop. Hot, hot. I don't think we've been there yet Probably not. What's this? Those are big way? ass skulls. <gasps> What's this way? Oh god! <laughs> oh Jesus. Anyways, yeah, I definitely oh. burnt my mouth and now it hurts. And while you were burning your mouth with chicken lava, I had one of my favorite dinners of all time last night. It is the least healthy dinner I could have fucking made, but it was so good. What was it? I fried up that I fried up a pound of bacon. Mm -hmm. Then I used the bacon grease to fry up two potatoes. Ooh. Oh, it was so good. That's good. I don't know where I'm going, I'm gonna be honest with you. Uh, you're just kinda wandering. He said go to the river? Yeah. The waterfall? Yeah. The waterfall at the end of the river. Have you never been? No. Oh, I heard it's lovely this time of year. Ah! Bling, bling, bling. This is... Aurora. Oh, I heard from grandmother. I heard from my grandmother that there's some, that there's something hidden behind the falls on the tall, tall mountains. Does that help? Bye. The tall, tall mountain. So we're going to a Mario 64 level. Yep. Oh dear God, I really don't want to get yeeted off that fucking mountain by that rude ass cloud again. Or God Let's forbid, have my hat down stolen we go. by a fucking monkey again. If I had a dollar for every time Mario has had his hat stolen by some random monkey he found while just wandering around a stage, I'd have at least two dollars. At least. Probably more. Hmm. Which isn't a lot, but it's weird that it's happened that many times. Oh, we're going straight up. We gotta go up to the big heights area. We're going straight up, straight up. Mm-hmm. But yeah, no, I, 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 I might have burnt my mouth a little bit. At least it was, at least it was for a good reason. Mm-hmm. It was really good. <laughs> I'm just imagining you eating, swallowing, ow, 
you swap out. Like, my, my parents are like looking at me and they're like, Lace, please. And I'm like, tastes good. And they're like, yeah, we know. But tasty. We know, but stop. Tasty. Ow. Ow. Crunch. Oh, no. Oh my gosh, I finally asked my mom why the heck they bought uh, my siblings and I. What was it? Oh, is this the waterfall? Looks like it. How did we get there? Alright. So, if you don't know, one of the first video games I ever played was Mortal Kombat. A fine game for a child to start with. Yeah, and I'm like, Mom, why did you buy me Mortal Kombat? And she's like, oh. So you can learn to fight the monsters under your bed. And I'm like, learn to fight oh, the monsters. <laughs> okay, that's really sweet, but I'm just imagining like there are actually monsters under your bed. Your parents go to check on you one night and they just see you like ripping its spine and skull out Sub Zero style. Oh my goodness. And I'm like, you know what? That, that makes sense. I like that answer. That's a good answer. And, and my mom's like, yeah, you had less nightmares after you started playing violent video games. And I'm like, that's less nightmares. That's adorable. <laughs> That is the best answer ever, and you know what? That is the best reason for buying children violent video games I've ever learn heard. To, learn to put <laughs> the monsters under your bed. Yeah, so, yeah, no. Your was, video game is way cooler than mine. What was, what was yours? It was one of three. I can't remember which it is, but it was one of these three. Yeah. Ocarina of Time, Mario 64, Mario Kart 64. Oh no, no, I was out here playing Mortal Kombat on my PS2. I was out here with the fucking Wahoos and Yahoos, whereas you were ripping people in half, stealing their hearts. Oh yeah, no, dude, dude, nuts. dude. There was like a thing that you could do. Like the fatalities in the old games were way more brutal than like, yeah, yeah, they didn't have the fancy cutscenes, but you can do like 20 fatalities on something, on another character, if you knew how to press the buttons. And I was, Jeez. I was a threat. I, my siblings would, my siblings stopped playing that game with me. Cause I would be Because like, you would just win and then fatality, 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 yeah. fatality, lace wins. Oh yeah. Brutality. Dude, it was insane. Oh man. Also, uh, uh, do you know how we get flippers? Uh, purchase them at your local Walmart. Well, maybe we should head back. Maybe they have flippers for us. At the store. Maybe. They might. They had the boat. So it would only make sense that they have flippers. True. But, uh, you know. I only, I only somewhat recently realized my love of Mortal Kombat. Yeah, and by somewhat fun. recently, I mean within the last five or six years. Because my old roommate was really into fighting games. Mm-hmm. And it showed me like, I, I can't get into actually playing fighting games, but you know, the lore and story, that's where I sit. Okay, I got, I had uh, Armageddon, Mortal Kombat Armageddon. Yeah, also the other reason why my parents got it was because my dad really liked, um... <sighs> oh, I, I'm, I'm sad we don't have our stuff. But the try, other the animal, reason... try the animal village. Alright, we'll go talk to them. But the other reason was because my dad also really liked the movie. And he Those were five hundred dollar sunglasses, asshole. <laughs> yeah, right. but still. The Street Fighter. Oh, sorry, the Mortal Kombat movie was pretty good, but I will always love the Street Fighter movie for one reason, hmm. and that's that scene where like a truck is barreling at like a tent that some characters were in. They were in the tent, watching a monitor showing a camera feed of the, of the truck coming in, and Zangief just goes, quick, change the channel! <laughs> oh, okay. Who's your favorite Mortal Kombat character, by the way? I like Luke Kang. That's a good one. I'm sure you're really happy with Mortal Kombat 1, then. Yeah. Yeah, I haven't played many of the other ones. I, I played the one that I had as a child, and then, um, in the one that I had as a child, we had normal Luke King, and then we had the zombie version of him. Oh, Jesus. Oh, it was good. 
my favorite characters in Mortal Kombat, it's a tie between two of them. It's either Johnny Cage or specifically um, Kwai Liang Sub-Zero. Let me make sure I'm getting these like, names right. It's been a hot minute. Kwai Liang is the second Sub-Zero. Bihan was the first that later became Noob Saibot. Bihan is also the Sub-Zero in Mortal Kombat 1, and Kwai Liang, for some fucking reason, is Scorpion. Yes, I was. Yes. I, I Hanzo, was checking my own. I was checking my own, making sure I, I remembered his name correctly. Yes, I liked Liu Kang. Yes. Liu Kang is fucking great. He's fun. I like the zombie version he... of him, though. That's my favorite version. But he doesn't punch people in the balls. Okay, but, like, he has, in the zombie version, he had these cool chains, like, he had chains around his wrists, and he could, and for his weapon, you could use the chains. But he doesn't kick people. He does not, not anymore. No, but yeah, no. Dylan, can you look up how we're supposed to get to here? I'm very lost. Uh, take a left. Just on the screen, go left. Sir, there's no left. Not if you try hard enough. <laughs> no, can you look it up though? Uh, I think you're. I think you were. Go right. Um, check those buildings. No, there's nobody in here. Everybody's out here. Okay, everybody's out here. Well, you're yeah. in the animal village, so fucking. Yeah, but you didn't even look up the thing, did you? I may or may not have. I um, can tell. Uh, 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 go down. No, but not, like, not I, the bottom no, of the screen. No. I mean, I mean, take out a shovel and start digging. Dylan, Dylan, can you look it up? I'm doing it now. Okay. I'm gonna have soup with the bear as I wait. Okay, so again, keep in mind these walkthroughs I'm having to use are for the remake. Yeah. Okay, so apparently you get them in the fourth dungeon. It's in the fourth dungeon. Alright, how do we get there? Hold on. Loading. We have the key. Yes, we do. Let's see. This is just telling me how to get through the anguish tunnel. Hold on. The what? Okay, you'll need to head back to where the windfish egg is and head east. Move the stone out of the way. Wait a minute, we've never been up to the windfish yet. We haven't touched that man yet. It's just fucking head north, I guess. Alright. I'm gonna go over from the other town, I guess. We haven't been to the windfish yet, what are you talking about? Oh no, we're doomed. Beer. Don't level of screwed we are. What level of screwed are we? I... I think we passed the basement a few levels ago. Talta Heights, Talta Heights. Okay. I guess the windfish egg is somewhere in Talta Heights. Yeah, that's that's my guess. I grab the shovel instead of the thing. I mean, the shovel could be helpful. I know it's really good at I know it's really good at fighting robots and zombies and horrible experimentations done on humans to make them the perfect ubermensch. 
Ah, uh, yes. Lies especially of P. When paired, especially when paired with the grappling hook. Lies of P. Okay, so my next Lies of P playthrough I'm gonna be doing, I'm gonna stream that one. And what we're gonna do is that we're going to be trying to see what happens if you do specific things. So everything's going to be a little bit more on the, what if, what would happen if I did blank? See if we can find any secrets. Alright. Like, Double you know, punch. you know the one, um, you know the owl doctor? How he attacks P because, okay, spoilers, he attacks P because yeah. he doesn't have life signs? Yeah, no, you're going to get the, you're going to get the bad ending and then go back as Carlo. Yeah. I think we'll drown if we walk into there. I mean, only one way to try. Like... <laughs> he sinks like a rock. <laughs> I, I like the idea that Link just walks in like, um, like fucking John Marston in Red Dead Redemption. <laughs> so, for those who haven't actually played the first Red Dead Redemption and only touched two, John can't swim in the first game. They, they just never programmed in swimming. So he can just walk into water. Like, straight up, he will submerge himself up to his neck and be fine just walking normally. But if you go any further, dead. Mm -hmm. Instantly. Because for whatever reason, a lot of, like, 360-era games just fucking killed you with water. Yeah. Like, Assassin's Creed 1 did something similar. I have a question. Because, what? Do you think P can swim? Uh, I think that P would have the same problem that Stitch has, in which he is far too heavy. Stitch is too heavy. Yeah, he's too much. Stitch is too molecular. <laughs> Sorry, complex words play hell with my tongue. Like French words. This is too molecularly dense. Yes, this is why I hate the French language. Stitch is too molecularly dense to actually swim. So that's why he ended up trapped on that one fucking Hawaiian island. That's why the entirety of the fucking series happens. <laughs> because he lands on the one Hawaiian island without any big fucking cities. That's Seriously, if Stitch had... If they had landed literally anywhere else on the planet, we'd be doomed. And didn't get adopted. No, 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 no. There would be no adoption if he landed on, say, the mainland US, for example. He would have just made his way to the nearest population center and started destroying everything. That is true. He would have chosen violence immediately. Well, that's what he was programmed for. That's what he was originally designed for. Mm -hmm. You know, funny thing, I, I've, I've rewatched like most of the Lilo and Stitch stuff a few years ago, uh, back with my ex. Yeah. And there was this one episode of the series, right, where they try to enter Stitch into a like a, a dog competition, like some kind of dog show. Mm -hmm. And it's on another one of the Hawaiian Islands, but this one actually has a city. And at the beginning of the episode, me and my ex were just sitting there like, is this, is, is this actually going to do the thing where he's like struggling to not destroy shit? And oh, no. No, they're not going to touch that at all. Okay, that's disappointing. Hmm. He's just going to be a well-behaved good boy. Okay. No, no fun here. No fun allowed. No fun allowed. Hoot. The windfish what, sleeps. What? The windfish sleeps long, uh, long and drearily in the egg above. What? 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 When you play the the eighth shot, yeah. When you play the eighth siren, instruments in the amount in front of the egg, he will awaken. This, my friend, is the only way for you to leave. What? 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 The only way to leave the island. What? 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 I'm gonna go look at him. Smacking. You wake up, old man. <laughs> <laughs> just the game ends here because Link just started breaking the egg and stabbing whatever's inside. Wake up, old man. Let me out. 
<laughs> Wake up! Just fucking... Ah, uh, system, just system of a down starts playing. Just wake up! Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!